Good morning, hope you're doing well. We've had most of our data out already today. We had inflation rates in the UK, it remained unchanged, still a bit too high to be fair. Um, we've got CPI out from uh, Austria and the CPI from the Euro zone. Okay, and we've got the building permits, but I think probably all eyes on this event tomorrow. So I think we're gonna be a little bit mixed today. We can see on our risk help, we've got quite a bit of mixed outlook as well. Uh, we were 68, we've fallen on the technicals. The herd have gone long, uh, but we are risk on the big picture. So there's six people selling indices versus the one person buying. Um, so that's of note, but we see a little bit of a mixture here and also the dollar fell, but the VIX pumped and the treasury yields, uh, the 10 year treasury yield rose. Um, so we we really dumped on some indices. The Nasdaq really fell, and um, it, then it did like a knee jerk reaction. I think it took a lot of stops out the market. So uh, we had a big dump and a huge ferocious pump uh, during New York yesterday. So I think that was like a bit of a clear out of positions potentially. So I think we might be a little bit mixed today. We might be a bit range bound. So uh, I'll show you the QDB scores. And you can see what's the strongest. So EG is strong. Um, so we should be a little bit more green. And we've got CAD Swiss, which is the weakest one now. So that's new. And we see some Swiss strength, which we can see also on our risk calc. Uh, this, the risk, they're very short. The, the MyFX book, uh, guys and girls, they're very short Swiss. Okay, so that's probably why the Swiss rank is appreciating because of that, um, the contrarian nature of the sentiment uh, they're selling Aussie and they're selling Euro uh, but they're going long yen <laughs> and they're going slightly long dollar okay let's go back here so you can see what you can see maybe there's some trade setups here looking for anything that's uh, green down here you're looking for reversal and anything that's red which EG is so you could look for reversal but you know what that pairs like it can be quite horrible and uh, it can be quite nasty if you're not careful. So be careful for EG. Uh, AJ's already moved quite a bit, uh, but we've got a lot of gas left in the tank. Show you the indices and gold, and then we'll quickly look at the robot. And uh, gold is sideways, So, but we can see how we made the buy. Uh, they went long, <laughs> right, and then they sold. And then they uh, went long, went sideways, and then you know we're, we're just basically sideways. So no comment there. This would be a theme of this morning's video. The fact there's not going to be any comment about direction because of the sideways sentiment. All right. So we're going to be range bound between that and that, and then we're looking for a breakout, and it could be a stop run. Looking for a breakout could be a stop run. Uh, so. Uh, that this is okay, um, but to be careful, you want to ideally not trade this because what's currently going on, uh, we're just ranging. We're not trending up or down, we're just ranging sideways. So you've got to be careful. So you can see how you wouldn't really want to trade this necessarily, it's just a yo yo. And the risk of the drawdown is probably too great for your reward. Well, you can see how we're trending. Um, See, we were like trending lower. This is, you know, obviously the uh, Middle East thing. No, it wasn't in the Middle East. It was the 22nd of, well, I don't know what the news was here. Maybe it was the government shutdown. But you can see how we're trending lower. And you had like an idea about direction. Trending higher. But currently, so, you know, what what's this doing it's sideways? Um, it was fairly. And uh, so, yeah. I mean, you could probably argue we're going up higher on this one. You know, we made higher high, higher high, higher lows. So this is actually, you could probably argue it is coming up higher. S&P's are sideways, but what the sentiment is sideways in the US 30. So it's kind of hard to predict what's going to happen here. And we might just have to chop, which would be annoying. So it might be that, that, that high and that low, we might be contained within those values. Um, DAX. Uh, just yes, yeah, crazy moves, isn't it? Big move, big chop, big move, big move. <laughs> We're just consolidating sideways. Gold. Oh no, we did gold, didn't we? Um, that's it, I think. 
did the US 500, we did the US 30, we've done DAX and we've done gold. So we'll show you the robot and uh, um, it's okay. Uh, admittedly, we should be up a bit more, um, but we can see how the indices are very choppy and sideways. So until we get a clear direction, then we're probably going to encounter a little bit of sideways on the robot. And I think maybe it could be all eyes on that pal speech and today is just going to be chop. Uh, so I guess a quick video today, just remember to be careful and try and trade something if it's in a, if it's trending. Okay, you don't really want to trade trade it when it's ranging. You know, a, a trend in lower market is easier because then you can like, you know, s sell the rep. You can, you know, and then sell the rep. Because you can see we're trending lower, right? And uh, so that's it, I guess a quick video. And I'll be back later tonight with the robot profit and loss. I would have done it last night, but I forgot. I was watching the football. So I did the robot profit and loss this morning, but I'll do it again tonight and uh, I won't be distracted. And uh, England beat Italy, so that was good. And I'll speak to you guys soon. So remember to trade safely and know when to not trade as well and what to avoid. And you should be fine. And let me know if you've got any questions as well.